Hi everyone and welcome back to the Oh So and So. So my last video, I found a bunch of the small flags, okay? I removed the flags from the sticks. I put them in my leftover coffee to kind of tone them down. Instead of it being so white, I wanted it just a little bit less. Kind of makes me think it is like older looking. But the greatest thing about it is this is what I'm talking about. Okay? It's kind of hard to hold this where it moves. But something different. And I saw this on Pinterest years ago, and I thought, oh man, I want to make that because I love Americana stuff. So this is what we're doing. Um, I had purchased several of these, okay? And I know you've seen these. And I thought when I saw this, I thought, oh my goodness, that would be perfect because the edges are already sewn and done, and it is a perfect width for the flags. See? All you have to do is a little bit of trimming. So, let's get started. Um, I made one, of course, just to see um, the how big and what I would need to do. So, I thought I wanted this part to be nice. So I folded it in the back and then there. So I got this far and then I'm like, am I sewing it? What am I doing? So, what I've decided to do is use the glue gun, which works out very well. So, we're going to get started. Um, we just cut. Now, of course, these are going to fold up. So, what I want to do first is put them on the ironing board and give them a little bit of starch. Hopefully, this will help where it does not curl. Okay, let's see how that does. Perfect. All righty. So, you know, it's hard to cut the burlap because you can see this end is not straight. And this one, it could use a little trimming, but I don't want to trim too much. So I am going to cut straight across the best I can. Then taking my other little template and putting it down. Kind of eyeballing it and then let's put a little more heat on it. Give that a little heat too. Now this one I can tell is not straight so Let's just give it a little bit of a trim. And then we're going to turn this one down. Kind of press it a little bit with your fingers. And see, yes, perfect. Then we're going to do the iron. Okay, that part's done. 
Then it comes time for your flag. Now, this one is perfect. This one hangs off just a little bit. So I'm going to trim this side just a little bit at a time because you can always take away, but you cannot add. Alrighty. There. Now, we'll take these off. We're going to turn it over to the back. Okay. And we're going to put a, not a generous line of the hot glue, but just enough to where it will not come up. Just a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna press this down on my cloth. I'm gonna take it to my counter. Kinda pat it just a little bit because it is a little, it does come through. to add a little more. Adding is good. Just a little bit. Now, let that cool for just a second. Now, for this side, I'm only going to put glue on the inside here. not too close to the edge because you do not want it to ooze out. Put that back carefully. You're gonna get some stuff on your fingers, you know. That's just the glue gun. But how much time does that save? Oh my. Perfect. Now, <clears throat> when I make my crafts, I put the time and the effort as if I was going to use it in my house. Now, this right here bothers me. Um, I'm just gonna do just a little bit. I'm not going to squeeze too hard and press. This side needs just a hair. Try not to squeeze too hard so I don't get a whole lot. Perfect. Now, I am happy with it. So, our flag will go over here, looking at it before. So that one needs just a little bit of a trim, not much. Okay, perfect. Now, <clears throat> excuse me for that. You know, all the trees are putting the pollen out today. Okay, so now I am going to put the glue on the back side. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself. So, I don't want to put a whole lot because I don't want it to come through to the other side, but I do want it to glue down well. Okay, I think we've got it. This is where it comes in handy to have nails.
Good. And there you have it. Your Americana silverware holder. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, <clears throat> my last haul, I showed you some frames that I got. So I wanted to kind of show you what I did with it. Can you see? I had some old quilts that I took it off the backing, cleaned up the glass, and then cut out pieces of old quilts and did a heart. Okay. And this one didn't have a glass, but that's okay. Great way to recycle, do a little crafts. So this will be in my show in Kentucky, along with the Americana silverware holder. So I hope you've had a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you like this video, please, Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell notification and don't forget to share. So have a great day. I got some gluing to do and I see the robin in her nest. I don't know, is she still up there? Yes. Let's see if you guys can see. She is up there. If you can see her or not. Do you see her? Yes. She's been sitting on it several days now. So I'm sure we're going to have some little ones. So guys, have an awesome day. Enjoy every moment. And happy crafting. Bye.